Okay, right. Just uh, make a short video uh, regarding the uh, Deluxe uh, programmable box, which is this thing here, which uh, everyone seems to be having some confusion with on how to get into the settings and the programs and so on and read the data logger, etc. Uh, when you get the unit, there's actually no instructions whatsoever with this, so you've got to work it out yourself. Uh, I've done some research myself because I wanted to try and find out how to get data logging. Uh, I couldn't find anything in it whatsoever. Uh, I've done a, a chat with uh, Hobby King uh, online and even they didn't know and just told me to put in an R RMA for it. So I thought rather than do that, I'll have a little dig around and see what I can do and, and find out myself uh, to, to, to see if I can get this thing working. Well, the good news is I did actually find out how to get into the data logging. Uh, it's not quite as straightforward as you think. Uh, and there are buttons to press to get into it, but there, it is there. Uh, but just make sure you've got the correct uh, ESC controller that goes with these units, otherwise it's not going to work. So before we start, the first things first, uh, as always, remove the prop. Uh, just take it off. Do whatever. Just, just take it off. Don't leave it on. Uh, the last thing you want to do is for the prop to fire up with your hand somewhere around here and the prop in your hand and causing so much damage. It's, it's not no point. So yeah, remove the prop first before you do anything on any uh, aircraft uh, or heli, whatever. Just take the blaze off or, or the prop off. Just make sure it's not on. Anyway, go ahead. We just connect the battery up, as you can see there, to the uh, ESC. Here, I've already connected it up, not a problem. Now, on this unit, there's two sockets, which is a bit hard. I can see them there. There's a top one and the bottom one. The sockets we're going to be using is the top one. Don't use the bottom one. Use the top one. And what you need to make sure as well is that the plug that goes into this, this is your ESC plug, this one here, is that the yellow is at the top. Make sure the yellow is at the top. If it's at the bottom, this is not gonna work, so make sure it's at the top. So I'm just gonna put my phone down a, a second, just so I can plug this in. And bear with me a second, and then what you're gonna get, is a couple of beeps, there you go. And it shows you straight away what's happening there. So basically, this is the actual box, uh, and what you want to do now is press the down button. That then tells you what your ESC is straight away. Uh, I'm actually running a 70 amp uh, SPEC ESC, which is their one dedicated for it. Uh, you can go through the menus, uh, most of them tell you exactly what you want. Main setting, that's okay, just go through that down again. You set it up for aircraft. If you press left, it will go to heli. If you press the other side, it goes back again. Whatever's on the display is what you're setting it to, not the other way around. So don't think, oh, I'll press this, it's going to set to heli, it won't, it will set to aircraft. So that's aircraft for me, press down again, obviously brake on or off, uh, under voltage, reduce power, you can actually set that left and right to whatever you want to do. Soft start, obviously mine's on disabled, I don't want soft start on mine. Uh, battery type, uh, number of cells, auto detect. LiPo, uh, cut off V cell or per cell, three volts, uh, cut off voltage, timing automatic, switch frequency, reverse, uh, rever re rotivation, normal or reverse, and the temperature protection, obviously if it gets too hot, it will obviously cut out, uh, mine set at 95 degrees. Uh, then you've got restore defaults, no, obviously, and then back to the main setting. Now this is where people get confused, they wanna get into the data logging side of it, and they press buttons left, right, and center. It's very, very straightforward. Where it says main settings, a little arrow to the left. Press the left arrow button. It will come to measure. Don't press the right button to hit measure. Literally just press down or up. If you press down, go straight into the maximum temperature of the plane was when it was flying and how long it was flying for at that temperature. And you've obviously got your environmental temperature, which is temperature around you at the moment. You've got your maximum current that you've drawn. I've drawn 60 amps at 13.8 volt for 4.4 minutes. Then you press down again, you've got your maximum current at 14.6 volts uh, at three amps, this is per cell, 6.44 minutes. Maximum voltage that I drew was 16 and a half volts for literally 35 seconds. That would have been a bit burst of some sort. Then you've got your minimum voltage, 13.8 volt for 4.4 minutes. And you've got the actual voltage of the battery at the moment, which is 11.5 volts. Off voltage, 14.7 volts, 6.56 minutes. Motor run time, so that last flight I had was 6 minutes 22 seconds. I've got 6 minutes 22 seconds per run on that last flight, that's telling me. 
The power on time is actually powered up for six minutes and 56. So that's including takeoff and landing. This is telling me how many poles my motor is, 14 poles. The maximum motor RPM I was achieving was 9,070 RPM. You've got your in and out times and the error times, which I've got no errors whatsoever, so that's pretty good. And then you're back to the measurement again. So if you want to go back to your normal menu, just press measure, and it go back to menu main settings again. And then from main settings, obviously, you can go through your normal stuff. So there you go. That's the easy way of finding out about your data logging, etc., etc. So many people have been trying to find out how to do this. Uh, I must admit, it took me literally five minutes to find it once I had it connected to uh, the model. But hopefully, that's going to help a lot of people out. Obviously, once you've done this, just you can see some plug on the side. That's it. Done. Plug it back into your receiver. Disconnect the battery. Put your prop back on, and away you go. Happy days. Hope you found the video interesting. Uh, be more videos coming later on on various other bits and pieces but this one will get you going thanks for watching